Hey, what's up, guys? It's your girl, Need for Speed T. Um, I was asked by a couple of people and told that I should just come on and let you guys know the reason why I have been off the set for nine months or more. But anyway, guys, I had a really bad fall and um, caught myself in the fall and messed up my wrist, my bicep, and my labrum. So I had a scaphalonate reconstruction, guys. I had a bicep tenodosis and I had a labrum repair. So yeah, it kept me off the set for a while. Um, all of it was together and um, I had to get surgery pretty much all together. But anyway, guys, I'm able to move my hands. Um, I'm 25% less strength that I had before. Um, I can move them. Some things I can't do, I can't make full movements. So guys, the videos that you're gonna see after this is just going to show you my progress. Um, with my hands, I went from not being being able to move the hand to being able to move it. And of course you see where I'm at now. So guys, um, this is why I've been off the set, but I plan to come back on the set with um, riding and driving. Um, I just got to take everything one day at a one day at a time. So guys, also do me a favor. Please don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and share button so that when I drop a banger, you guys will be notified. Toodles, your girl's coming back. This is my hand. I can't straighten them out. This is as much as they straighten. I can't ball fist. Do anything. I'm gonna just show you how my hands move. See my hands? I mean, that's me extending them all the way out. At least what I feel like I'm extending them out to. That's how much uses I got in my hands. That's as far as they open and close. As far as they open and close. And don't look at my nails. I know I need them done, but I can't get my nails done because I'm in a lot of pain with that pen in there. Next week on the 14th is when I'm supposed to go back, hopefully get the pin out and get casting right before my birthday. But yeah. Guys. Okay, guys, I got my cast off. As you can see, look at my fingers. Still very, very, very painful to move my hands. But you can see where my hands and my skin and everything started peeling. This is after my scapulonate reconstruction surgery. The pin comes out today. I'm either going into a hard cast or a, a removable cast. This is how my hand is looking right now. The pen is out, guys. All right, y'all, I got six to eight weeks of this. Six to eight weeks. Keep showing y'all my progress. Six to eight weeks. Swelling is going down some. My fingers smooth, not as much. I take occupational therapy and I'm gonna be on the road to success and back to driving. I'm just showing you my progress. This is another exercise he has me doing. Try to put the thumb down. I can't do it all the way, but it should be able to come. After we finish, it'll be able to all come down and connect like it's supposed to. Isn't a coat. Not to the side and not up. It's going to go at an angle like this. Your other hand is going to block up here and you're going to resist your own hand. Okay. It's not hard pressure, it's firm pressure. You should feel it right through here. Okay. That's your target space. That's how you know you're doing it correctly. The actual strap we're going to be touching is this one in the back. We're not going to be touching anything else when we put it on and take it off. Everything I'm doing now is just for um, like setting it up wise. 
Okay, so I leave everything. So the hand, I would say if you could slide into it, that's great. If not, it, this is easy. You just put it on and take it off. It's not that hard to do. Okay. But as for this strap and this strap, we're not going to touch them. It's only the back one we're going to touch. Okay, you got that right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. Good job. Awesome. I'm just going to number them like a one, a two, a three, a four. Again, you don't have to follow that, but just to give you kind of an idea. This I'm going to X out because we're not going to use. This I'm also going to X out because we're not going to use. And I'm actually going to cut that a little bit. And then if you could lift your arm up for me, I'm going to make a black line here just to show you how far to pull this when you do put it on. Okay. You just want to see the black line. And I'm just going to put a one, the circle here to show you that that's the one we're going to use. Okay, this is the only one I'm going to ever take we're off. Touch. And we're not going to touch this side either, only this right only here. Only this side. Yep. And so I'm I actually just... going to put tape on it too, green tape, so that you can okay. know we're going to touch with the green tape. Okay. Cool. Now we're going to take it off. And okay. to take it off, what we're going to do, yep, you just pull that. Okay. And then you pull that out. Okay. Oh. And then just this just it. comes up. Oh, okay. And then um, if this is too tight, you can it's undo not. it. Yeah, you just slide it. Okay. Pretty simple? Very simple. Cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this. I'm going yeah. to add some padding. Yeah. And I'm going to... Um, so... You want to go down at an angle like this. So if the sponge was here, I would go down like this. Down and over. It's not down. It's not over. It's down and over. There we go. My fat thumbs. Okay. So you want to go back in this direction and then forward. Back. Let me get it from the side. Good. Come on back, Pouncy. Cushion, <laughs> shoes, pull it up. Blanket, something that's soft that you can't really push. It. Of course, you're in sand on it, but like, it's, it's just yeah, false. Okay. So the box is broad. Oh, you sir? Yeah. Doing good. Good to see so, you. Trying to get this hand back working like it's supposed to. 
My hand goes in the machines, Kapuado therapy. Big machine, guys.